Aspiration and or injection of the wrist is done for a variety of indications, including diagnosis of a swollen joint and steroid delivery for conditions such as inflammatory arthritis. The most common approach to radiocarpal injections is via the dorsum of the wrist and is illustrated in this video. Radiocarpal joint injections are done through the soft spot just beyond the radius. This can be found by palpation. You can also identify this by palpating for listus tubercle highlighted here and then letting your thumb slide distally into the joint space. You may have to flex and extend the wrist to fully appreciate the joint space. Using a retractable pen, mark the point of injection. Be careful to avoid the extensor tendons. The injection is done with the forearm prone and the wrist slightly flexed. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. I am using a solution of 2% chlorhexidine and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Here I have a 25 gauge 5 8 inch needle and a mixture of 30 mg of depomedrol with 2% xylocaine to a volume of 1.5 ml. Advance the needle perpendicular to the radius to a depth of about 2 cm. You should feel the needle breaching the joint capsule. Aspirate to ensure that you're not in a blood vessel and then inject the solution. It should go in freely. If there is resistance, slightly withdraw and adjust the needle accordingly. Dry the area and apply a bandage. Have the patient move the wrist to disperse the medication.